talking about the PTO. PTO basically is just a gearbox that goes on the transmission of your truck. Uh, like I said a couple weeks ago about a clutch pump, our hydraulic system we either get our power from a clutch driven, a belt driven clutch pump or a PTO. Uh, your trucks basically have a six bolt opening here uh, and, and right in there, take that plate off basically and you got an idler gear in there uh, that's basically uh, uh, turns and then you put your uh, PTO on it and uh, uh, basically get your power uh, to run your hydraulic system. Here we over here we got a uh, PTO. This PTO here basically what you do you take the studs put them in the, in the transmission of your truck and then you got a gasket sometimes you use one gasket sometimes two gaskets. The purpose of the of uh, more than one gasket is getting the right distance between this gear and the idler gear on your transmission. Uh, also sometimes people will have an oil leak around here and all they want to do is tighten the bolts up here. Okay, That's not always the case because sometimes they end up stripping the bolts out of the transmission and all that. Uh, you know if the bolts are loose snug the bolts down tighten them up a little bit but if you need to take a gasket, uh, replace the gasket to fix the leak, then you have to take the PTO off. Uh, do, those, do those bolts normally come loose? Well, it, it's like any other bolts. That you, you torque them uh, uh, to the right torque, uh, plus with all the vibration and everything, you should, uh, you should check them, uh, uh, you know, probably at least once a month to make sure that they are tight, make sure you've got no leaks on it. Now, this particular PTO here is what they call a cable shift PTO. It's very simple. Uh, basically, it's shifting with a fork inside here, so you can shift it in gear into your idler gear when you want to yeah, yeah, use your PTO. And other than that, you shift it out. But just for this lever right here, it's a, yeah, like I said, it's an older style that's not used too much today. Basically, you just took your cable in here, one end of your cable, the other end of the cable goes inside the truck, and you basically just pull the cable up. That shifts your PTO here, and that engages your PTO. This is a very, very simple. You got no, uh, you got no solenoids. You got no electric. Uh, you got nothing to be a problem here. In fact, if for some reason this cable is bad, uh, say it's uh, the cable itself is just completely worn out, or maybe it got close to the exhaust pipe and messed up, you can go down by hand and you can engage this PTO and you can still still use your PTO when you get finished, pick the car up or whatever, then you disengage it by hand. That's one of the good things about the cable shift, but uh, not very many of those are used today. Also, you got here, uh, you got what they call a hot shift PTO. It basically gets its power and stuff off of the uh, transmission of the truck, comes into the solenoid here, and then you've got clutches inside this PTO here, basically, when you hit the switch, the solenoid, and all the clutches engage, and basically start your PTO working. Uh, and one of the purposes you don't want to drive uh, with this on is because you've got clutches in there, and it end up burning up the clutches on your PTO. And you got your PTO, and then basically you got a pump that goes behind it here, okay? And then your two hydraulic hoses hook on here and it goes back to your valve and goes back to your uh, oil tank. Uh, basically, this starts all your, uh, your hydraulic system working right here. Now this PTO also, you can get them with a with an air shift PTO. Uh, both of these are very simple. You just got a ground. You just ground it to the frame. The other wire basically goes to a switch inside the dash. And uh, if for some reason you have a problem with that, you have a problem with your switch, uh, you could basically just go down and put you a 12 volt wire to, uh, to the wire here, bypass the switch, and you still could get this, uh, uh, this PTO to work. Uh, now one thing you want to do with your PTOs, you don't want to engage them with the high RPM. Basically you engage them at an idle, and then you turn the, uh, the idle up uh, so, that, uh, uh, so that your PTO is running at about 1200 RPMs. It'll get you all the power. 
and, and everything you need. Uh, another thing is right here, you got a pressure switch. This pressure switch here goes on your PTO, and then the, a wire goes up to a light that you have on the dash. We put a big red light on there, and basically when this is engaged, it sends a signal up and makes the light come on. Now, if this goes bad, the, your light may stay on all the time. That doesn't necessarily mean that your PTO is on. In fact, it's probably not. Uh, sometimes also, if this is going bad, the red light will flash. Uh, so basically, if you've got that going on, uh, change your sensor right here, and uh, uh, that should solve your problem. Uh, service of your uh, PTO, uh, basically when you bolt it onto the transmission, uh, it's basically almost a part of your transmission, so you want to change your oil uh, in accordance to the manual uh, that's, that's on the truck itself. Uh, so basically, make sure you keep the, keep the oil changed in it. Uh, check the oil. If you've got any leaks at all in this, you definitely want to check it uh, and, and keep the oil clean because you, you probably can't even see it here, but here's a little fitting with a very tiny hole in it. Okay, and if you get dirt in the transmission or anything, uh, then basically that's going to keep your PTO from working properly. In fact, the oil comes through here to cool the gears down is what this little fitting is right here. So uh, make sure you service your PTO, check it out. Uh, one more thing also, you've got a shaft here and you've got a, you've got a spline on your pump that you can, put a, uh, you can put a little grease in there, pull it apart here, put a little grease in there where the two go together. Because uh, I have uh, found over the years that it would end up wearing the spline out in there and uh, you end up having a problem. Your PTO uh, won't work. Uh, now, you were saying that uh, on the cable shift PTO, you can engage it by hand. Yes. What happens if this one doesn't engage? Can you bypass that solenoid? No, you really can't. You'd have to find out what's the problem with it. You'd have to find out if the switch is a problem. You'd have to find out if the solenoid is a problem. Uh, possibly you'd have a problem that the clutches might be burned up inside the PTO itself. Uh, so okay. That's why it's always good to check it uh, and know what to do. But if it's just a switch, you basically, like I said, you can just take a 12 volt wire coming off the battery to here and you can bypass the switch and if your solenoid is working and everything else, you can get your PTO to work. Just bypass the switch until you get back to the shop. Okay. But uh, take care of your PTO, check your PTO. Uh, and uh, basically take care of your PTO, take care of your truck, it'll take care of you. Thank you, Cliff. Okay.